Good evening. Thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 6. I'm Calvin Snee. I'm Kim Chapman. Several school systems have called in, closing schools and delays for tomorrow. You'll see those scrolling at the top of your screen. Meanwhile, plans for an exhilarating paraglide ride took a dramatic turn at Tennessee treetoppers last night. A 28-year-old flyer ended up stuck and stranded in a tree on the steep bluff of a mountain in Sequatchie County. That's where News Channel 9's John Madewell joins us live from the scenic overlook. John, how's the power glider doing tonight? Now, Ryan Grimaldi was not hurt at all, and we want to show you where this happened. Take your eyes up to the top of the mountain, follow the tree line, then come down from the tree line, and you will see his orange and white paraglider still stuck in the trees. Now, Grimaldi is into outdoor adventure, but he's an inexperienced paraglider. In fact, last night's flight was only his second ever. Ryan Grimaldi had a very close call last night. That's him in the front of this picture after rescuers got him out of a tree. David Vaughn lives across the street and saw Grimaldi just before he launched his non-powered paraglider. Well, I just seen a guy up here trying to get off on a par paraglider about 4.35 o'clock and then I came out about 8 o'clock with my dog and uh, a rescue squad was up here and these guys said there was a guy caught in a tree down here. We met Grimaldi this afternoon. He declined to do an on-camera interview but told us all about his experience. He front launched off this ramp by running at full speed into the open air, but his left side got caught in this tree. He landed with his feet on a branch. Then about 35 people from various rescue squads arrived. Wayne Snyder Assistant Chief with Dunlap's Volunteer Fire Department explains what happened next. First, we had to get down to where he was and under the bluff, and we did that by going through a crevice in the rocks. Grimaldi told us he was lucky and extremely grateful to all the rescuers, especially Rodney Smith of the Dunlap Volunteer Fire Department. Smith is a former lineman. He used his experience in climbing spikes to scale approximately 70 feet up this tree to rescue Ryan. Got down to him, and of course with safety lines and stuff, he managed to climb the tree just about like you were climbing a light post. Now this rescue took about five and a half hours, and during our conversation with Ryan Grimaldi, we learned that he's from New Hampshire, but he lives in Lenore City now. Now he's been here and also to Whitwell to paraglide, and I asked him, after this harrowing experience, will you glide again? He told me, yes, I will. Streaming live from Sequatchie County, I'm John John Madewell for News Channel 9. Now back to you. All right, John, thank you very much. Georgia Governor Nathan 